Hello and welcome to this course on learning integration in Oracle integration. In this course, we are going to learn integration from scratch. We are going to look at each and every aspect of integration. What are the features and capabilities and we are going to build integrations from scratch for whom this course is made for. This course is made for absolute beginners who know nothing about integration. Students who come out of universities and want to add Oracle integration to their skill set that is to get their first job. Also this course is targeted to professionals who want to learn integration for taking up their next assignments. The classes or the chapters which are created in the course are on following topics. We are having a chapter at the beginning of this course that is on creating Oracle cloud account. Here we will create a oracle cloud account for free of cost which will be available for 30 days with free cloud credits once we get the oracle cloud account created next is we will provision an oracle integration instance wherein we will practice our integration concepts and learn each and every aspect of integration once we provision the oracle integration instance we will build integration with the help of rest adapter so this is a complete lab or the hands-on chapter. We will have multiple classes within this chapter wherein we will learn how we can invoke a REST API, how we can expose our integration as a REST API, how we can invoke a REST API with a query parameter, path parameter and a lot of other stuffs. Next is we are going to learn similar aspect but with the help of SOAP adapter wherein we will expose our integration as a SOAP web service. Also we will look at how we can call external SOAP web services. Next, we'll look at how we can build scheduled integration. We'll create a scheduled integration. We will write a schedule so that it will trigger on its own. That is with the help of simple schedule. And also we'll look at how we can write ICAL expression that is to schedule an integration. Also, we'll look at what are lookups. We will learn how to create a lookup, how we can export, import, modify a lookup and upload lookup data in bulk. That is with the help of CSV file. Also, we'll learn what are packages how we can clone a package, delete a integration with the help of package, how we can club multiple integrations into a single group with the help of package, how we can migrate group of integrations from one instance to another with the help of packages. We'll learn all those things here. In next chapter, we'll learn what are agents, how we can install a connectivity agent in our local computer or a local machine or on-premise machine and we can connect from Oracle integration cloud instance. Also, we'll look at how we can build an integration which will communicate with on-premise application which is sitting locally and we can do business transactions. Also, we'll look at what are the actions available in integration. Also, we'll look at parameters like scheduled parameter integration property with the help of which we can customize the integration. Also, we'll look at FTP adapter concepts in brief. We will learn what is the stage activity in integration and what are the features available in stage activity. We will learn few of the things like read, write, zipping the directory. Next, we will look at what are libraries in integration, how we can build a simple library. Also, we will look at how we can write multiple functions in a single library file. And also, we will have a look at how we can import multiple JavaScript modules and write a custom JavaScript function and create a jar file and import into integration instance. Also, we look at what is a database adapter and how we can make use of database adapter in integration and read data, write data to database. Also, we look at mapper concepts. We'll look at few of the functions in mapper or XSLT in this course. We'll look at some of the use cases wherein integration could be used to solve business problems. So this course classes will be updated on a weekly basis. So initially when you try to subscribe or enroll to this course, you may not find few of the chapters over here what are mentioned like the FTP adapter or use cases mapper or the database. So this will be updated over the period of time and we are planning to complete this course by uploading all the videos by April 30, 2022. If you are watching this course after April 30, 2022, then you will be able to find all the videos for all the chapters in this course. Now the question will arise why to watch this course and what is the benefit it has to offer to you. At the end of this course, you will be able to add integration to your skill set and you will be ready to take up your next assignment in Oracle integration. 
you will be having a complete knowledge about what are the features available in integration how to integrate multiple applications also you will be comfortable in building integrations like app driven integration scheduled integration with the help of lot of adapters which come out of the box with integration also you will know what action and feature that is to use in order to implement or to solve the requirement we would like to thank you for watching the overview of this course you can write to us at binam.apps@gmail.com or binam.apps@theretoutlook.com also if you are looking for modification in the course wherein you want us to cover some of the concepts please feel free to write to us at binam.apps@theretgmail.com so that we can review the requirement and we can create a content and upload the video on this course thank you once again and happy learning please do enroll for this course on udemy and learn integration in oracle integration